Hiya! Last summer I created this sticker kit binder which has worked tremendously I have to say. In this sticker binder I collect all the sticker kits I want to use in a specific week. So this one housed the kit I wanted to use in the 3rd to the 9th of January. Then for the week of the 10th to the 16th this one housed another sticker kit etc etc. In that video I will link it up above. I mainly focus on the end of summer, autumn with Halloween and Thanksgiving, winter with Christmas and also slightly going towards the winter in January and February, sort of ending on Valentine's Day. And as we are nearing Valentine's Day, I think it is due time for me to have a bit of a look, see what I need to switch around and also give some thoughts on how this is working. As I already said, to me this is working tremendously. I do allow myself to switch things out if I feel like it. For instance, I had planned to use quite a lot of these winter heavy, snow heavy, I should say, kits in January and February. Till now the weather has been quite lovely in the Netherlands. So I did switch out some of my sticker kits from this sort of snow, winter, snowstorms, uh, playing in the snow, etc. to more neutral ones. And I will show you which ones I picked. But then, of course, for after Valentine's Day, there is a ton to be done. And I'm excited to do that in this video. For now, enough yapping. I have gathered the sticker kits for these specific weeks to sort of show you what I went with. So in this first full week of January, I used a kit by Happy Sherpa Papery. Super pretty florals. It was wintry, but not snowy. Then in the next week, I used a Harriet Wright design kit that I was planning on using in Christmas time. And I kept on moving in my last video as well. But I'm really happy that I did use it because it does have the sort of wintry colors. Then in the week of the 17th, I actually used a fun kit by Planner Face with sort of these colors. And it was wintry, but hot chocolate themed. Super fun, super adorable. And then actually I went back to work as I was off sick in the first sort of almost month. And I decided on using not a wintry kit, but this very nice sort of neutral boss babe office sort of attire kit from Cinderella Paper. Then the week after I also decided against a wintry New York, I think, themed kit and actually printed out this one from Planning Choco. Again, it is wintry, but it is neutral enough so that it's not snow, 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 snow everywhere. Then the week, this week actually when I'm filming it, it's Galentine's week or, you know, on the 13th of February is Galentine's Day. So I decided to use a some leftovers from an Anne Prince kit, which had this very adorable clip art. And then the one that I will be planning after filming this video is this one with a very cute... I like the combination of the bluish pink, like the true pink, and the more salmon pink. Unfortunately, I don't have dark hair, but I am sure that I will be able to make this into a cute spread. And now then the question arises, is next week going to be super cold? I don't think it is. I'm just checking on my phone real quick. So yeah, it's going to be super rainy, but it's not going to be cold. So I think I am going to decide against this one, Aurora by Planner Face, and this one, again, super wintry. And then we're already in March. Actually, I'm going to quickly look through here. This one I want to use in spring. This is a wintry I didn't use. This is summer. Then, of course, we're nearing St. Patrick's Day. This one also not using, this one perhaps, this one, no, I'll put it in my spring bin. This one is going to be perfect for, <laughs> I have those scrunchies. <laughs> I actually got three of them at Primark for one euro. Yes, that was a bargain. I'll move this to autumn. This one I'm using for sure. This is Halloween, this is Halloween. And this one I think I'll use in spring in theory. So I'm just going to grab the wintry kits that are not really wintry wintry if that makes sense these are very wintry and actually i'll also put away this one 
and this one if i do oh this one should be back in there if i do end up using a wintery one i think this is slightly too christmasy it could work but it's slightly too christmasy this one could super well work but I feel this one would be, well, there's trees there. Hmm. I wanted to say like the girl in the city sort of matches more with how my snow days would be here now. But I think I'll move these to my winter bin, this one as well, and these two autumn bins. And I will be back in a quick second. So then it turns out that I have enough snowy kits for probably... 10 weeks of winter <laughs> so i am on a winter buying ban for snowy kits but it does sort of give me a bit of an issue which is a very big word that i don't yet want to go into spring kits in february so i think i'm going to pull from my sort of neutral stash okay i'm back it took a while because i feel like Anytime kits, sort of the neutral kits that I mentioned, just because they are so neutral and perfect for any time, it sort of makes me doubt everything and think, oh, maybe I can use this this week. Oh no, maybe I'll use this this week. So that was a bit difficult, but I think I have an idea. So I really like this kit by Harriet Wright Designs. This one from Planner Face, this was her anniversary kit. It's called Happy Place. And I really like the combination of the pink and the blue. Sort of having both Valentine's Day and winter in there. And also this one is super cute with the leopard print and the pink. And the sort of Louis Vuitton print on the back. And I liked that, uh, I want to say, yeah, there was a whipped cream cocoa here. So I feel like this might be like the perfect one to really move into spring. So then the week after Valentine's Day, I will be using this one because it combines the pink and the blue. And then the week after, which will be sort of the first week of March, I actually want to use the Hige one. Hige? Hige? I'm sorry for mispronouncing that very probably. Then in the first full week of March, I want to do this one because in theory it's going to be quite nice weather. Then the week after is St. Patrick's Day. So I do have a bin here with spring kits. I just popped my stickers from a Lucky Kit from Strawberry Lime Design in here. I actually have a Strawberry Lime Design kit coming towards me. I placed an order when Beth had a flash sale on, so that will be super fun. And then this kit was already here for like the proper start of spring. And then we have tons of stickers to plan out. Okay, I already put this kit by Planner Face in here for Easter. I think when I placed my order with Bath, there was also a Easter kit in there, so I might switch things up. Then I have this printable that I did, and I think I like the place. And then this one, this one, and then my birthday, and then the final week of May. So we have one, two, three, four, five weeks to plan out with stickers so this is my spring bin let's see what's in there and let's see what i like and what i also like but like not enough to actually use this year so these larger ones hold sort of general stickers so i'll put that back this one should go in here oh yeah i really wanted to use this one so let's take a look yes yes perhaps mm, no i'll save this for paris no mm, yes this is left over, so I'll put that with my B6 stickers. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, this is going to be a problem. No, maybe, maybe, yes, no, no. Maybe for Mother's Day, no. Yes, I'll move this to summer, 
we'll get to that in a moment <laughs> and hmm, I think I'll move this to my anytime kits and this one I will say no to for now as well Ooh, that's always sad that's always a sad moment okay I had one five I think one two three four five and then my birthday so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve oh come on and I haven't even gone through my printable stickers yet so this is it definite yes I've been hoarding this kit for years and I want to want to want to want to want to really want to use it right now this is also a yes these are quite similar mm, I'll say no to this one I also think I will say no to this one maybe for summer or like September I'll put it in my summer bin then this is adorbs. This one might be. Mm, I'll find another one for Mother's Day. I think there's one here I can use for Mother's Day. This one, for instance. So this is no. Mm, I only have some full boxes of this one, so that will be harder to make into something. I should be able to make it work also with my reusable album but i'll say maybe for now let's try again <laughs> yes yes but also yes again these i have to decide between these yes maybe when is it strawberry time i want to say this might be cute for like after my birthday so that will help i hope uh, this will say no. This one is super adorable. This one for Mother's Day. And then I'm short. <laughs> short. How can I be short one, kids? No, happy with that. Those I'll be using in a different planner or at a different time. Um, these I'll probably decide on the day. Mm, but, mm, uh, mm, lots of ooing eyeing this one is so fun as well and I haven't even looked in sort of my anytime pile but because there is so much cute stuff there as well this I'm not sure if I can make this into a kit for my in my marshall planner so i'll say no to that one now i'm just going to quickly look at my everyday stash i'm back with more options so this one i bumped in my last sort of setup i think i was going to use this in august but i didn't might be fun also this one i grabbed again <laughs> whoops this one mm, i think i like this one but also this one i might have already used this but this is such a fun kit I like the sort of vibes of going out. Wait, there's pumpkins there? I'll do this in September then. Mm. Let's see what full boxes. I might actually. One, two, three, four, five. No, wait. One, two, three, four, five. Do I like that? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Okay, then that's a no for now. This I'll decide on the day, basically. And then we're ending here. And then, wait, let me just put in first Mother's Day. It's on the... Mother's Day is actually on the 8th. And I'll put this one here. Then the week before my birthday... I kind of want to put these slightly away from each other. So I'll grab this one that I've been hoarding and actually recently cut myself by hand, I mean. No, wait, what is this sleeve? Wait, is this an... This is a rogue sleeve. Oh my gosh, did I count wrongly? 
this shouldn't be here oh gosh i hope it works out the week before my birthday is going to be this one then this is my birthday kit it's my planner face and then um we have mother's day and then we have this one which is super cute and then i'll maybe actually want to move that towards the front more i think i like it better because the girl has like a coat on so i want to put that before having girls with short sleeves might be a bit silly but that's sort of how my brain works then we have one week i think either this or this the start of spring and then we go into easter spring and then we'll have um, i feel these are also quite similar so let's put those slightly away from each other do this one do this one and then go into mother's day this one and my birthday and then after my birthday we can do this one adorbs so i have like three really cute kits and then we move into let's see where actually the end is i think the beginning of july so yeah okay so the last week i have to fill is the 4th of july which is of course american independence day i don't celebrate but i do like any excuse to use a cute kit so i'll put that there and then in between i have one two three four five kits oh this one is going to be september actually so um these dates are wrong because they are the dates of 2000 and um 21 not 20 but i will be able to sort of easily put it there and actually now that we're on this subject in my video <laughs> i was super wrong and i made a mistake so in this week in 2022 i will have graduated 10 years ago from university so i want to use this kit i will probably move it to next week because I think November the 7th is going to be a Monday. But that's fine. We'll sort that out later. Back to this. We have one, two, three, four, five kits that I get to choose from this pile. Love it. Later. Love it. Later. Love it. Love it. Later maybe 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 this one should not go there maybe oh maybe 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 hmm. Hmm. hmm let's let's try again yes yes not too sure yes hopefully with a friend eh. Oh wait, that's what's my, not my no pile. Okay. Mm. Okay. This is no for now. You might see those appearing in my B6. Then I feel these are super summery. So they should be after the 4th of July. And this one probably somewhere in September. September. Mm, let's do it here in the last week of August, beginning of September. Then I already have a printable kit for this week, so I should print that. Generally speaking, I should have a look through my printable kits to see which ones I actually want to use. Um, right so then i although i really i'm i'm a bit conflicted like where should i use this kit it has a sort of summery blooms but also she's in a cardigan or she's in a she's in a sweater and she has like a trench coat so maybe i should actually move that to this week as well 
Mm, the combination of the two isn't the strongest, I have to confess. But it could be cute. Maybe I'll do this here. Um, right. Back to here. June. So I adore nautical kits for June. So let me put these here next to each other and then we still have three weeks to go till um, i think i like this one. come on this one here and then Hmm, I think there might be a kit from Strawberry Line Designs that's on the route, but let me just grab this picnic one from Harriet Bright Designs, and then I still have one. I don't think this will stay here. This feels almost autumnal to me, actually. So for now, let's put that in September. And let's see what I am able to find in my uh, anytime stash. So I found this kit by Elizabeth Plans. And I think it's sort of, it's an outdoor movie theater idea with like film night. I think that might be fun as a sort of run up to um, 4th of July. And then after, hmm, I should be careful not to overload as I'm sure like I have a double week in here. Hopefully I get to use this travel kit with a friend, although I don't think I'm going. This sort of screams uh, Greece to me. I don't think I will be going to Greece, but maybe I will. And then I will for now use this one as the first week of July, which is already the previous week. So, hmm. Again, I'll be careful with this sort of setup. It's also quite far in the future. Um, let's do this one. And this one. And then this one can be... Yeah, it's maybe a bit too travelly, but it's super cute. So I'll put that here for now. And then also first week of August, super warm, can be here. Again, these dates are not correct, so I actually should correct them right now. So let me grab a sharpie. So that is actually 11. Okay, okay, we can work with that. And uh, then I'm just taking the washi off from here. Now it's ready to be reused in this project or in another project and almost no room. I just want to put in this rogue one that we found earlier. Glad I didn't miscount and put this one in here that I've just removed the washi off from. Whew, okay, fingers still all accounted for. Back to February. Okay, so these, as you can see, I've already started working on. So that is super exciting. This one I still need to do. This one I still need to do. This one I was already working on and now I am going to plan this one and then we sort of, depending on if we do get snow or not, this is going to be the stickers I will be using in February, March and April until we get to May. 
super fun really happy that this job is once again done now i don't have to keep on thinking oh i still want to do that oh i want to do it on camera oh i can't do it right now so thank you <laughs> for allowing me to do this it's once again a very chunky binder but that is why they invented elastic bands to go over them if you want to get a glimpse into my autumn and winter kits i will have also linked the previous video down below there you can also see the setup of this binder so how i put all the washi in there and what i actually use to create this and i guess for the next installment which will be probably summer kits autumn kits and winter kits stay tuned for somewhere in june or july i think but now i'm happy that this is done i'm happy that i can start planning with my very cute valentine's day kits and i hope that you have enjoyed this video see you next time bye bye